The State Department of ICT, Telcom Kenya and Djibouti African Regional Express, who are partners in the new cable, have concluded the first raft of commercial negotiations in Djibouti, paving way for the manufacturing process and associated material. In a statement, ICT Principal Secretary Jerome Ocheng said we expect the consultation and negotiations to take a couple of months between the Deir Awan Consortium members, including the landing party partners with Telcom, as a key stakeholder. Thanks to these negotiations, the region is closer to a digital economy from affordable gigabyte services in the region. The endorsement of the implementation of the proposed 36 terabyte fiber cable projected to run approximately 4,000 kilometers interconnecting Kenya and Djibouti is expected to cement Telcom's Kenya's data carrier position in the region with bigger capacity on the fiber optic cable delivered on a newer technology. Telcom Kenya owns 23% stake in Steams, a 5,000 kilometer undersea fiber optic cable through Furgia and a 10% stake in Leon 2, another 2,700 kilometer undersea fiber optic through Mauritius. According to Telcom Kenya CEO Mugo Kebati, the cable comes at a time when most cables are running into the end of their lifeline, which usually ranges between 15 to 20 years. Stakeholders have welcomed the move, saying it provides international connection on a newer and and more reliable high capacity technology essential to boost the region's digital economy as well as increase access to data with eventual gains being eventually being realized on cost for the end user. Regina Manyara Guitar reporting for Business Insight.